Hello everyone, this is Matthew Jenner for Card Runners, and I'm here with Tournament Theory Concepts Part 1. So for this video, I wanted to start with a disclosure. I have minimal tournament experience. I have not played much since Black Friday to begin with, but I've played approximately zero tournaments in the last three and a half years. You have a right to know this and decide if you think you'd rather not spend your time discussing tournaments with a non-tournament player. That said, despite never advertising for it, I have coached a few tournament players who contacted me for theory coaching and learned a ton about tournaments through coaching them. I think I've learned enough to make a pretty good video on how to adjust to tournaments when coming from cash games. I actually think this series is going to be very good, but I don't want anyone to feel cheated out of their time, so I just wanted to get this information out there. I have not played tournaments recently, but I have discussed them a lot, so I think I have a lot to say about the topic. Goals for these videos. My goal is to explain how to apply some theoretical concepts to tournaments and get a pretty big edge over players who don't understand these concepts, and that's most of the tournament playing population. Many concepts will have already been discussed in cash games, but they need to be adjusted for stack depth, antis, and ICM. We will not talk too much about exploitative play here or ICM here. These videos will be theory and concept based. So I'm not going to talk about ICM just because I don't think I'm the best person to do that. And I think there's a lot of other content that we can talk about that I haven't seen discussed elsewhere that will be really beneficial for people to hear. So without further ado, let's jump into the first big concept, which is preflop stack depth. In cash games, when you look at a preflop situation, you look at your hand, the previous action, and your position. In tournaments, you must also look at stack depth. In addition to impacting how often you'll be called, 3-bet, or shipped on, stack depth significantly impacts the strength of your actual holding. Stack depth and robust equity. One of the most common mistakes I see people make is emphasize hands with robust equity when there is little stack depth. That's especially true if players have come from cash games or spent a lot of time talking with cash game players since these games are played with more stack depth. When you're playing cash games, almost everyone is used to playing 100 big blinds deep. When you're playing tournaments, very rarely are you 100 big blinds or deeper. You're almost always significantly more shallow than that. Additionally, hands with robust equity are usually easier to play, so there's a bias for that even in cash games where people like to play with the pretty hands that can make the nuts rather than you know the more difficult hands that can be more profitable. In other words, which hand is better to raise first in on the button, king 10 off or 7 6 suited? Well, there's no way to know for sure, but for 100 big blind stack depths at no limit 200, Poker Snowy predicts the expected value of opening King-10 off on the button is worth 0.16 big blinds compared to opening 7-6 suited, which is worth 0.2 big blinds. This probably isn't surprising. Most players watching this video probably value 7-6 suited more highly than King-10 off. So if you're like me and you're like Poker Snowy and you think 7-6 suited is better than King-10 off, ask yourself for a minute why that is. Again, if you're playing with 100 big lines deep stack depth? Well, the answer probably is that with 7-6 suited, it's a lot easier to make a nut type hand than with King-10 off. So if you have 100 big blind stack depth and you want to win a really, really big pot, you're probably going to need to make like a flush or a straight, which 7-6 suited is a lot better at doing than King-10 off. So because we have all that stack depth, 7-6 suited is overall a more profitable hand to open with than King-10 off, despite the fact that King-10 off has a lot more equity than 7-6 suited. 7-6 suited's equity is more robust. In other words, it can make hands that are very, very strong and will win at showdown even if we're playing against a really strong range. 